Hi, my name is Joey Accardo. I'm the Technical Manager for EpiRock Surface and Exploration Drilling in the U.S. In this segment, we're going to discuss how to turn on and start the engine for the EpiRock FlexiRock T15. The first thing we want to do is check all of the fluid levels and make sure that everything's topped up and where it should be. We've already done that, so we know it's safe to start. The first step to turning it on is to raise this cover and make sure that the main power switch is turned on. When that's completed, we can turn on the key switch, wait a moment, and press the blue button. At that point, we'll see these LEDs indicate and some of them will drop off. After doing that, we want to take the radio remote unit or operator unit, as it's called in the instructions, make sure the emergency stop is reset. In this case, this one was pressed. And then push and hold the power button until the indicator lights at the top come on. Once they come on, let go, and we'll see the radio symbol and the flashing pair button. At that point, we press the pairing button, and you might hear some noises come from the machine. At this point, they're linked up. To verify that, we can press and sound the horn. And then after pressing the horn, which is a requirement for any function, we can start the engine. All clear? To stop the engine is the same procedure. We press the button for engine start stop. And we can then shut off the remote and turn off the key switch. As with any other drilling related topic, if you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to one of our EpiRock service centers or your local distributor partner.